Engine power and performance figures grab headlines, but when it comes to the very best driver's cars, road holding, handling and feel are often the critical deciding factors. Successfully balancing those all-important and often conflicting factors is a major challenge, but one Swedish suspension manufacturer, Olins, believes it has met with its range of road and track dampers. But what is the Olins effect? To find out, we've taken two Megan Renault Sport 275 trophies, one fitted with factory standard suspension, the other Renault Sport's official Olins road and track upgrade option, and conducted a series of back-to-back -back tests on some of the UK's toughest roads and one of its most spectacular racetracks. By exploring the subjective differences in feel and objectively measuring the outright performance of both cars, we aim to bring you the answer. So we've broken our test of the standard and Olin's equipped cars into two parts. Even track focused cars like the Megane Trophy spend most of their time on the road. So they need to cope with the infinite variety of bends and compressions and crests and cambers that often define the kind of roads that we love to drive on. We'll be driving both cars along the same stretch of road. First the standard car and then the Olin's equipped car, paying close attention to body control and ride quality but also on how connected we feel to the car and also how well in sync the car is with the road we're driving. Once we've completed the road element of the test, we can head to the racetrack and that's where we can push both cars to their absolute limits. And we'll also be able to try some of the more aggressive suspension settings on the Olin's kit. High corner speeds, heavy braking, and hard acceleration will all place huge demands on the stability, handling balance and traction of both cars. And of course, the stopwatch never lies. But before we head to the racetrack, we need to find out how the two cars compare on the road. For the first element of our test, we've come to the fabulous roads of North Wales. From flowing stretches of smooth tarmac to tighter, rougher sections punctuated by awkward cambers, hidden crests and wicked compressions, our road route is the ultimate measure of control, compliance and driver confidence. First up is the yellow standard Megan Trophy and, as expected, it's extremely impressive. Deep reserves of grip, plenty of front-end bite and a neutral yet lively balance give you the tools and the confidence to really enjoy the car's performance. Its ride is unashamedly firm, but that feels like a fair trade for such live wire dynamics. Swapping to the Olin's equipped car, we first drive the test route with dampers set to Renault Sport's factory road settings. The differences are subtle but tangible. There's a sense of tighter body control and precision, but it also manages to more smoothly round off the worst of the road's imperfections. It feels more positive too. Fractional improvements in response, grip and traction, combining to make you feel more connected and confident. Using the one-click compression and rebound adjustment, we then switch the road and track dampers to Renault Sport's recommended B-Road setting and repeat the route. Immediately, there's a marked improvement in ride quality, but not at the expense of that impressive precision or body control. You have the same pin-sharp agility and response, but with even greater poise and composure. Mid-corner compressions, which threaten to overwhelm the standard car's damping, leave the Olin suspended car feeling unfazed. And because the car is in closer harmony with the road surface, you feel more in tune with its responses and totally immersed in the driving experience. Take things to extremes and the differences can be felt even more clearly. Approaching this crest at the same speed in both cars, the standard trophy is eager to take off, lands heavily and takes a moment or two to regain its composure. The Olin's car is less keen to launch over the crest, absorbing the compression force and controlling the release of energy as the wheels eventually leave the ground. On landing, it touches down more smoothly, swiftly soaking up the initial impact and controlling the rate of rebound with equal precision, preventing a secondary bounce and allowing the car to settle more quickly. It's a graphic illustration of Olin's road and track superior body control and underlines the lasting impression from our road route namely that compliance is the key to unlocking a brilliant combination of control, ride comfort and confidence-inspiring feel. For the second element of our test, we swap the roads of North Wales for the Tickroy circuit on the island of Anglesey. We're using the coastal circuit configuration, which packs plenty of challenges into its 1.5 mile lap. 
From traction testing hairpins and fast corners that demand grip and confidence, to rapid direction changes and heavy braking zones, this compact technical circuit has it all. In addition to comparing the subjective feel of each car, we're adding objectivity by driving against the clock. It's worth remembering that each car is fitted with the same type of Bridgestone tyre and carrying the same fuel load, so suspension apart, they're as close to identical as possible. And, of course, being a racetrack, we can push both cars to their absolute limits with stability control switched off. As on the road, we begin with the standard car. Predictably, it more than upholds Renault Sport's reputation, its measured steering response, strong initial turning grip and rear-end stability being the standout qualities. Only when pushing for a lap time do weaknesses become apparent. That encouraging bite at turning, fading to understeer as you chase the throttle, some momentary instability in the heaviest braking zones and a tendency to scrabble for traction exiting the hairpin. We first try the Olin's car running Renault Sport's recommended dry track damper settings. From the moment you turn into the first corner, the differences are clear. More grip from turn in through apex to exit, with stronger traction, superior stability into the most critical braking area and an ability to ride curbs without deflecting the car from your chosen line. The way it copes with curbs is especially impressive and it's thanks to Olin's dual flow valve or DFV damper technology. Just as on the road, during moments of very sharp suspension loading, such as those from a ridge, pothole or a racetrack's curb, the DFV acts like a blow-off valve, allowing oil within the damper to bypass the compression and rebound ports. This rapid but controlled release of energy ensures the wheel and tyre remain in contact with the ground, maintaining grip and traction when the standard car begins to run out of ideas. First run completed, we switch to a more aggressive setup. Two clicks on the front dampers and five clicks on the rear to exploit Tikroyce's smooth surface. The difference is smaller, but there's definitely a sense the Megane is squeezing a fraction more from the tyres. You can place it with even greater precision and confidence get on the power as early as possible and really chase the cleanest and most efficient lines. It feels more rewarding and, crucially for track driving, more consistent. A big subjective improvement then, but what does the stopwatch say? The first setup finds three tenths of a second over the standard car, the more aggressive setup growing that advantage to four tenths. A best lap of one minute 20.75 versus the standard car's one minute 21.15. That's a significant performance gain around a 1.5 mile lap in otherwise identical cars. Scale it up to a lap of the Nürburgring Nordschleife and the gap would be more like five seconds. More importantly, the Olin's car's greater consistency and precision means it can maintain that performance advantage for lap after lap. Delivering more pace, precision and consistency on track, bringing greater control, compliance and enjoyment on the road, our tests have shown that Olin's road and track suspension delivers significant improvements you can measure and feel. Conclusive evidence that the Olin's effect is real wherever you drive. <laughs>